Hotels morning. and Resorts. Good morning, Robert Flores. Mark DeRose, he's ready to go. Lauren Shoddy. Houston. Holy cow, last night. We have a Don't major say problem. Don't say we have a problem. Right that's, now. That's so terrible. It's a major one. <laughs> Yeah. I, I, when Nick Cassianos <gasps> caught the I was like, hey, there's a base hit. Nope. I thought the same thing. <sighs> nope. Bryce and Stock come across the bag, low throw, boom. <sighs> Bryce talks about Philly being a home field advantage, and I was thinking, a yacht is. Leaning on you. Holy cow. They're so good. I mean, they have to feel pretty good, Chris Thanks. Group, and, and, and obviously what happened in 2017, it's been well documented and stuff and people are going to be in their field. It's a great you run. You sound like a typical in that, fan. No, no, no. It's a great run, but this it could have been the player hates been, the typical fan. It's a great run, an unbelievable run, it's but two it one. but it could have been legendary. <laughs> If they and don't what win this, if Javier dominates tonight, now do you I'm come just on? If they smiles, don't, you don't get the I'm saying both. if they don't come back to win this series, I do not like your attitude. <laughs> Possible legendary. We have no idea where this is going. You don't I like his that. attitude. Do you like beer? Because Reese Hoskins' oh wife said, yeah, his beer. There's no reason to say anything, but for me, it's an ink. Guy's been the best pitcher <laughs> the entire year at 39 years old. If I'm going down, I'm going down with Justin Verlander, and whatever happens, happens. This yeah. idea that you're going to flip Valdez in front of him to give him it. No, 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 no. I yeah, think he's no. still making pitches. It's also not only you making pitches, but uh, Rob Thompson against the Giants in the postseason, and Rich Arulia ends up taking him grand slam, and the game's over. Mm -hmm. When the whole bench kind of knew Tommy didn't ha like he didn't have it, like he did, and it was like Bobby's like, this is this is my dude. Yeah, and I get it, but it. No, it's difficult. Like, uh, it's difficult. Well, you not only owe it to the dude. Fire Cooks. Robert I like Fire you Cooks from Houston. Petty. We're I, not giving you anything. I, I like Petty. And there's <laughs> moments, man. Last night, Ranger Suarez, like, 4-0. Uh, Altuve clips him for a three-run homer. They're right back they're in right that back game in. in the top of the fifth with two outs. That's right. Yeah. Smoltz was saying, Smoltz does a great job, by the uh, way, taking yeah, you inside the bat. This game immediately. Everything Rob Thompson has done has, Work. has worked. Mm -hmm. He's pushing all the right buttons, and it has been for quite a while now. They are on a roll. Yeah, it was a lopsided game last night, and Anthony Castrovins. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so All right. I take pictures. Oh, you're sweating. <laughs> With Aunt Teresa. <laughs> no. Well, it was a dream for the Phillies. It was not. I can't see, and I'm going. Oh. Nah. Aaron Nola, you see him a lot, right? Uh, him and Zach have done so much to get him to this point, and he was asked how he feels, and you can relate to this yeah. as a pitcher over 162. He said, I, my body feels okay. It feels much better in front of the crowd. How do you know if he's on right away? Well, yeah, what's, it, what's interesting about Nola, how do you know he's on right away? He's landing that. There is a, um, a similarity between all these. And when he needs to make a pitch, he is, he's kind of in complete control, and I expect Nola to do the same. The Astros better score quick in this game. You know, baseball used to be a game you used to judge over a long... Uh, all right, so we're going to step aside here on MLB Central. When we come back, much more on the Phillies throttling the act. This is Bang was rocking last night, and you better believe the energy will be there again tonight when the Phillies host the Astros with a 2-1 to one series lead. Aaron Nola will be starting for Philly tonight. He loves pitching at home. Nobody will be happier than Nola to see the Philly fans. He's not allowed an earned run at Citizens Bank Park since September 6th and has not lost a home start. Get this, since August 9th. Team. That includes six strong innings against the Braves. That was back in the NLDS. Nobody is hotter right now, though, than Christian Javier, who will get the ball for the Astros in game four. Ended the regular season with 23 shutout innings in his final four starts. And in the postseason, has allowed just one run in six and two-thirds. Javier has not seen the mound since October 22nd. But Astros fans, and not to worry, last time he had 10 days rest. The ALCS, you remember it very well. Shut down the Yankees for a game three win. A few hot bats, watch out for Kyle Schwarber and Yuli Gurriel. Schwarber won his free tacos. How can we forget about that with game one stolen base and his game three home run still hasn't landed. How about Yuli? May not show the same power, but sure shows the contact. He has at least one hit in 10 of his 12 postseason games and has yet to strike out in his 43 plate appearances. Can't wait for tonight. Yeah, we were lucky yesterday to have Colin McHugh yeah. join us, and he had a very interesting comment regarding a pretty good hitter for the Phillies. Maybe we underpaid Bryce Harper, so. And honestly, we talk about the Phillies fans and how they love their team. This, this dude. In the visiting clubhouse, <laughs> no. it was usually a Foreman <laughs> Grill burger. Tuna melt. Oh, man. <laughs> I will say this. I'd like to see, and there is we, 
and aggressive. Can you imagine oh. they clinch the World Series? And That'd be big. I think I'm so happy for, listen, watching a game, you just want to be in a moment. I'm so happy for Bryce right at, at this moment. Yeah. Like, step up there. He, he's, he's with. Tied up at two, and the big question is, of course, who will be heading back to Houston with a series lead? Justin Verlander, the American League favorite for the Cy Young Award, and tonight he gets the chance to win a World Series game and put his Astros just one win away from a title. What more could he ask for, right? On the other side will be Noah Syndergaard. He was initially scheduled to start game three. We remember that, but due to the rain out, he was pushed back to game five. It will be his fourth appearance this postseason, and Thor's allowed just one run in five and a third in innings of work and keep an eye out for a little production. It's always nice to get production out of your number nine hitter in Houston. They've gotten just that. Chaz McCormick has a hit in eight of the Astros 10 postseason games. Wow. And his fifth inning single last night sparked the big five run inning that led to the game four win. And when you need a win, you look to your leader. So you better believe all eyes will be on you guessed at Bryce Harper tonight. Six home runs this postseason and the Phillies are six and zero when he goes yard.